All right, uh, you know, I was very proud of our effort as a team today. Uh, great to get a win. Um, you know, offensively, I thought it was important that we started fast, uh, getting two touchdowns in the first quarter, I believe. Um, I think all day long um, when we got in the red zone, getting touchdowns instead of kicking field goals was really important. Um, you know, I thought the offensive line did an outstanding job blocking all game long and especially late in the game where uh, the Lions know, you know, we're going to be running the football to still be able to move the football says a lot about our line. Really our coaches, you know, the scheme they put together says a lot about Dalvin and Alex running. So um, really proud of them. And then, you know, got to tip your hat as well to the defense and the way they played, um, creating red zone turnovers and, uh, you know, giving us the football back. So a um, lot of positives from today that we can continue to build on. And uh, we'll certainly, you know, talk about some things we can do better as well. But uh, great to get a win and to get our first home win. And, and now, uh, you know, we'll look ahead to our next game, another divisional opponent. Take any questions you have. Hey, Kirk, how about uh, Dalvin Cook getting 200 yards rushing with Adrian Peterson, the last guy to do it for the Vikings, you know, in the building. He did it five years ago. Yeah, just an impressive effort. Um, I think the most impressive run for me was uh, among several was the, the, the flip. Uh, we, we pitched out to him late in the game with the corner blitz and he made the corner miss and then was able to dart up the field for a big gain. Uh, that play was, you know, not looking good with that corner blitzing, but, uh, you know, when you have a great player like that who can make somebody miss, um, you know, it, it turned into a, a big gain. And that says a lot about Dalvin and his ability. And I think so much of our offense today really started with our consistent, you know, running the football and um, staying out of third downs at times. You know, I think we had a couple drives where we may have only had one third down uh, in those two drives to start the game. So really positive from that standpoint. Kirk, I think in that drive before halftime, you, you really didn't have to throw down field much. How much does it change things for you knowing that you can get big plays out of things like screens that you've seen the last couple of weeks? Yes, uh, I thought the Lions did a good job in coverage, uh, you know, not just you know, they were, they were doing a good job uh, taking away some things down the field and, and uh, um, you have to go where your reads take you and, and, uh, and then those guys have to make plays too and Dalvin did on the linebacker and man coverage and Amir obviously did on the screen and um, you know, we had a couple runs that hit as well. So it was a, a nice combination of plays to get down there and again to get seven instead of three I think is a big deal. Kirk, that said, the offensive lines feels like it's giving you a lot more time. It looks like you're more comfortable. They're obviously paving the way for Dalvin to do some things. What's been different with the O-line maybe the last two, three games that maybe wasn't there at the beginning of the year? Well, you know, I think we're, like you said, running the football well. I think that helps, you know, to start there. And, and um, um, you know, the flow of the game, when you have a, a two-score, three-score lead, it's a different game than when you, you're trailing by three scores. I mean, that's just a completely different offense you're putting on the field and the way you have to play so I think that's a you know it's hard to compare those games when they're in totally different uh, types of types of games being played. Kirk, obviously you have to take sometimes what the defense gives you but you got your tight ends involved deal a couple of short passes to Rudy and then the two touchdowns to Irv what do you like that the tight ends have been doing lately? Well, yeah, I mean, on the touchdown, one touchdown to Irv, Rudy's completely uncovered, and the read is to start with Irv. So I started with Irv, and he was open enough to throw him the ball, but Kyle's actually even more open. I just didn't have to progress to him. So um, you just, you know, run the plays that are called, go where your reads take you, and if it means Irv gets two touchdowns, so be it, you know. And, and some weeks it's been Justin and Adam, and um, I just think it's a great reminder to everybody on the outside of the player that Irv is, the player that Rudy is, uh, at any time, they can help us. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, the plays that get, get called and then the way the defense chooses to defend those plays, and, and then, you know, the ball gets distributed accordingly. How did these last two wins set you guys up for the second half of the season? Well, you know, coming out of the bye at 1-5, and five, um, you know, my thought process was we have 10 football games left uh, guaranteed to us, and, you um, those 10 are going to tell the story probably far more than the than the one in five start. So, you know, I'd say the same about with eight left. You know, the, the, the second half is going to tell the story far more than the first half. So we need to have the best second half we possibly can. And that starts with a, you know, tough opponent in Chicago on the road on Monday night. Kirk, how nice is it to see swagger from the defense after some of the hard times that they've had? 
Yeah, they did a great job creating turnovers. Um, you know, I think they did a good job too of forcing a field goal instead of allowing a touchdown in the red zone. Um, you know, I, I, I think they're coming into their own too as young players. I, I was a young player once and had my struggles in my first, second, third year where you're figuring it out, even early in my fourth year. Um, but eventually it starts to click and, and you can take your game to another level. And I think that's the case for any player, not just a quarterback. And I'm sure on the defense, there's some of that as well of young players getting more opportunities and more experience. And, and you learn through that. And, and it, it's exciting to see where a player can get to. Hey, Kirk, with strange, uh, especially the first half, having so few third down plays, and then what happened on that first third and six in the, in the third quarter with the delay of game penalty? Uh, yeah, it was, it was unique. I think that goes back to the run game being effective, the play action game being effective, and um, uh, did a great job there. You know, if we can stay out of third down, all the better. Let's just keep running our first and second down offense. Um, the third down. Uh, in the first half, I think the first third down we had, the bootleg that Everson tipped, I was frustrated about that one because Rudy was open and that was uh, likely a conversion. So I thought that was a play I'd like to have back. And then um, the delay of game was on me at the, uh, at the uh, start of the second half. How much confidence do you have in Dalvin to make that block with Everson crashing on the second touchdown to Irv? Yeah, I'd say... Uh, it's a, uh, you know, that's the scheme is uh, he's got the outside guy out, off the tackle. And, uh, and so you're going to ask a lot of your running backs in protection. And that's a big thing as a quarterback is, you know, whether it's Alex or Amir, or Dalvin, CJ, um, whoever may be, even Booney, uh, you just say, hey, you know, not only you got to run the football, you got to catch the football and you got to know how to run routes and you also got to pass protect. So it's a very diverse uh, uh, position in terms of what we're going to ask you to do in, in the modern day football. He said, uh, he said, he said, ever since was... saying, it kind of goes without saying, but I'll ask you anyway, just how much does it make things easier for you when you guys are rushing for 275 yards as a team? Yeah, you're just going to have fewer attempts, which is a, uh, a good thing, if you will, uh, because we've been able to be explosive with those fewer attempts and still be able to move the football. And I also think that uh, it keeps us from having to drop back all the time, which I think defenses want, want to be able to rush the passer. So um, anytime you can run the football, it, it really gives you your entire offense and you, you're able to kind of control the situation. So it's, it's a real positive. Any more questions for Kirk? Kirk, the game within the game, I think Del Delvin was saying how Everson was, you could hear him right at the beginning of the game. You weren't surprised because he's a loud guy. He was kind of jawing with Delvin <laughs> when, when he tackled him. Um, how, how was he for you? Did he say anything? Yeah, I love Everson. Um, the best part was when the when we all took the field and there was a moment there was quiet and you hear his voice from the other sideline saying some music would be nice <laughs> just asking the PA guy to play more music so he's, he's just you know he he brought that juice for the Vikings for a decade and um, I remember in 2018 when I first got here he was bringing the juice and, and then when we lost him for part of that year you know it affects your locker room it affects the juice you guys bring because we've all kind of looked to him for that energy and he was going to be the same guy today just for a different team wearing different colors but uh he was still bringing that juice and if anything I knew we had to match it you know what I didn't want to do is have him bring that momentum that I knew he could bring and us not match it so fortunately we were able to play at a level that uh, was able to match it.